Hi, I'm Christian Triola, author of The Missing Method for Guitar Books, and this is part two of how to play Joy to the World on the guitar. So this time, instead of going through the melody like I did in part one, I'm going to show you how to strum the chords to Joy to the World. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this song, you really only need three chords, which is great because it makes it a lot easier to learn. The first chord and the most widely used chord in the song is D major. So if you don't know that one, to get that, you put your index finger on string three, fret number two. Then you put your middle finger on string one, fret number two. And then you put your third finger on string two, fret number three. Then with your pick or your thumb, you strum four strings. So you don't want to strum the last two strings. You get a nice sounding D chord. So that's our main chord in the song. The next one is actually really easy to play. It's called A7. And to play that, you have your middle finger on string two, fret two, your index finger on fret two of string four. For this one, you strum five strings. So you just don't play the last string. That's your A7 chord. And then the last chord that shows up in the song is G major. And of course, G is a fun chord to play on guitar. First string, third fret with the third finger. Last string, third fret with the middle finger. Fifth string, second fret with the index finger. Strum everything on this one. Now that G chord doesn't come up a lot in the song, but it is in there, so you do want to know that one. Okay, so with a lot of D chords in it. It's a pretty quick one to learn. I'm going to put the sheet music up on the screen now. And now you can follow along with Joy to the World. So we start with that D chord and we strum that 10 times total. So I'm gonna count four, four, and then two. Strum the A7 two times, and then it continues into the D chord four times. So here's how that first line sounds. One, two, three, four. The second line, we start with the G chord, strum that four times. Switch to the A7 four times. And then the D chord for eight times in this line only. And how I like to think of it is it's not really eight times, it's four times two. Same thing, but the count them in groups of four makes it a little bit easier. Line number three is all D chords. That means you have to play it 16 times total, or four sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you have to count with that, otherwise you will get lost if you're not paying close attention. The next line continues with the D chord. We have to strum it four more times. One, two, three, four. Into the A7, eight times. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Back to the D four times. And that's line three. The final line of Joy to the World, we continue with the D chord. We do it six times. One, two, three, four, one, two. A7 two times, three, four. D four times. And then of course you strum that as many verses as you want to do, because Joy to the World has several. Okay, so let me strum through everything from the beginning so you can hear the accompaniment part to Joy to the World. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
And there you have it. Joy to the world. Now, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you give it a like. Also, if you haven't yet, you can learn the melody of the Joy to the World. In a different video, that's part one. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel so you know when these kinds of videos come out, and check out our website, themissingmethod.com. There you'll find all sorts of books that will help you to improve your guitar skills from note reading to playing chords to learning technique and more stuff too. So go check that out, themissingmethod.com. All right, have fun practicing that and I will see you in the next video.